Hello and welcome to the Chrome Dome. I'm Old Bald Guy. We're back in Gloomhaven for our second attempt. In Gloomhaven Battlement say we have an idea how this scenario works now. We failed our first attempt by effectively one hit point. So we're going back in again. And let's take a look at the merchant here before we go to see. So I have Iron Helmet. I want to keep that. Chainmail's in there now, which we have. Um, we do like the Warhammer, though the Battle Axe might be better in some cases. I don't know. And we got Minor Healing, Major Stamina, and uh, let's upgrade these healing potions. Let's go ahead and get you a Major Healing Potion and a Major Stamina. We don't have Major Stamina yet. No, we have Minor Stamina, Minor Power, Major Cure, which he has. Oh, he has an extra spot anyways, too because he's level 7. So, alright, we'll do that for you. Over here, you only have 15 gold, so we'll stick with what you have. And over here, you have one spot open, too. Let's get you a major healing potion, or... So, spent items are the ones that tap. Consumed items are the ones that have the X mark, like the moon earring there, just as an FYI. Uh, I could add stun to an attack. Doesn't seem that helpful. Not unhelpful, but let's go with major healing again. Get him his third, his fourth item in there. All right, and do we want to do any upgrades on your cards? Let's see. We could put something on this one, but it's too expensive. That's going to be really expensive. So is that. So is that. Leaping Cleave, we could add another thing, but we never use it for that. Another move here would actually be pretty good. Let's do that. Put a plus move on that. Down to 42 gold, that's fine, I guess. All right, I think we're ready to head into Gloomhaven's Battlement A again. And we're off. Ah, wonderful. You have returned with the artifact. You smile and nod. We've heard all this before, Finally. so we're going to skip through this. Here. Get on to the killing. Kill an elite. Now, the boss is not an elite, but we still might be able to do that. And that is definitely not going to happen, so we're going to go there. Uh, drop below half is always going to happen. We'll try that, but it's almost virtually impossible for us to do that. And we don't super care which one he gets. All right. So the plan is we're going to send the brute to one side and let him jump into that spot with his jump cards and get um, those guys dealt with. And then place at the head of the arm. So the, I, the plan is we're going to let the demons deal with the guards. We're going to jump in and deal with the archers on both sides. So the Mind Thief is going to go Mind's Weakness. And probably Feedback Loop to get close. So I go one, two, three, four. I need another four to get in. So I won't get, so then I'm going to go. I need to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total. So I can do, yeah, so we'll go with what we had before. Emphatic Assault, we'll get the, the Strength in, then we'll Dark Frenzy into Scurry to get the attack, double attack here on this guy. And then over here, I think both of these guys are going to go this way, to this side. He wants to get that on, so he's going to go with the Wound thing again. Which is uh, cauterize and strength and agony. They're gonna move five, so he'll go one, two, three, four, five, and then shoot one, two, three, both of these guys. All right, and then the brood is gonna get as close as he can. One, two, three, and then he's gonna go one, two, three, four into that spot for a skewer. So. He needs a leaping cleave into whatever. Not not 
grab and go. Anything but that. Probably trample. Okay. Yep, that's fine. So let's keep trample. Yeah, that one. Alright. Okay, so flame demons run up, make a trap. Run up, make a trap. Frost demon does very little, but he gets up there to him. Wind demon runs up, attacks the door. And here go the archers. As they pincushion our poor dudes. Pierce 2 makes those guys really incredibly not good. Alright, so I'm gonna move one extra. Take it up to here. And pop them with those two. Alright. Earth Demon does nothing! That's fine, I don't mind that retaliate at all there. I like it. I like it. Alright. He's gonna jump to here. And do nothing. Alright. Feels like a good turn. Feels like a good turn. Good start. Alright. Here comes the fun part. Ready? All right, you're gonna go skewer, grab and go to get us in there. It's the only jump we have that we can use regularly. Over here, heal one, and I guess we do, actually, where, where we are, we have the space, so we will instead go break the chains blood pack. That'll give us two attack threes on these guys. And over here, dark frenzy scurry. Alright. So the wind demon misses the door. That's fine. Alright, uh move three. <clears throat> and move three. Get the poison down on him. Nice. Not bad. Alright, so... I don't want to burn my visibility cloak right now, because... Um, how did I get... What did I draw? I guess I applied shield to myself somehow? Did I draw a shield card? Whatever. Sure. I don't know what I did there. Um, so I don't want to use my visibility cloak. I'm just going to sit here and tank these shots, even though they're big shots of five and a four. Um, because I want that when I get to the boss, just in case I need it. That was good. All right. We're going in. And I'm going to go ahead and stun these guys. They're hitting pretty hard right now, and I don't really want this to uh, get out of control. Alright, that was very, very effective. Alright, Berserker. You have shots on both of them, right? Yes. Alright, plus one attack. Can't pull them, but we can sure hit them. All right, well, those archers are dead. That, that door's almost dead. <laughs> door's really almost dead, holy cow. All right, that's fine. All right, we got healing potions, we're okay. Alright, 
so with everybody dead here, what do I do? I can't jump out. What can I can I see? I can see this guy, right? Yeah. Let's do that. And huh. All right, we'll do that. <laughs> Cuz I don't want to open the doors yet. And you are going to need to help kill something. Probably this guy right here. Can you get there? One, two, three, four. No, you cannot get there. You can get here. I can get there. None of this is good. Uh, I can Fatal Fury this guy, I guess. No, I can't even do that. Alright, I guess dude finds for death, I guess. Uh, over here, I'm going to stun you, and... I am going to frigid apparition you. Where did my You guys need to stop eating my shit. All right. So, we're going to do that. Oh, now I have it. Almost got him. What is happening? Why am I keep getting... What is making me get shield? On your main... Oh, feed... Oh! I put feedback loop instead of mine's weakness when I did something. Okay. Alright, that's not good. Heal up. That was a mistake. Um, but we are going to stamina back the Frigid Apparition. And be done. Alright. Do what you can to this guy. We didn't kill him. That's fine. All right, let's go ahead and move up. And we'll try to kill the big guard. I feel like this turn is going, this game is, this attempt is going much better than the last attempt. get out of here, but I don't know how... I have to wait, right? Alright, uh... You're gonna move up and... deal with this guy, I guess. And what can you do? So this guy is no longer stunned. You're down to six hit points. I can definitely kill this guy. But then what? have the cards to do what I want to do. Oh, I have a plan. I'll leave this guy and stun that guy. That doesn't make any sense. I don't want to lose a card. I think I just kill this guy and then move away. And over here... We'll do that, but I don't know... They're probably going to break the door down right here. Alright. Okay, what is this guy doing? Attack 3, range... Move 3, attack 2, range 5. Uh... I think that's fine. I think we take that hit. only attack two I have a one shield he has no pe no pierce and disadvantage and I take no damage all right and you're gonna move oh that's an issue I don't want to go through a trap all 
All right, I will move up to here and suffer. All right. That guard wants to shoot at range. That's killed that guy, but that's fine. Door's probably going down now. Down to four. Down to seven. All right, that was kind of what I wanted to happen. Back away at the wooden door. An explosion erupts from it. A shockwave blow. All right, so they're all going to shoot the earth demon, which is actually not bad for us. Do I have my boots? I think I have my boots. Okay, everybody's moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Captain gives everybody a heal. That didn't matter. All right, so... I have boots. Let's go ahead and move here. All right, so if I go ahead, I could boots, I could just walk to here. And then next turn, I have Whirlwind and Trample. I could go one, two, three, four, five, six Whirlwind and really fuck up their life down here. Those are a 28 and a 72. That's not bad. Or we all just go ahead and surround this guy right here and just deal with him quickly and efficiently. That's probably the better plan. But in either case, I am moving to here and I'm going to attack five. This guy take two damage, but doesn't really super matter. All right. So, all our demons are alive, and they are going to charge. We are just going to I'm gonna go ahead and short rest him, so I have cards in case I need it, which I don't think I will. But, I want to get the attack four up, and these are not hexes that I can go through, so I have to jump over these guys. Alright, Berserker. What do you got left here, buddy? I'm going to go ahead and short rest you as well. Yeah, I guess that's fine. All right. Um, we could stun people. How far can you get from where you are now? You're here. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to get into position. Without jump, that's going to be really hard. So I think for now, you stay back here. And do other things, like kill this guy. Why don't you do that? So we'll do from the brink, and... Yeah, we'll go ahead and put a stun on him. It gives us four attack. That's good. Alright, for you, kill this guy first, and then we'll deal with the boss. Alright, so the city guards are doing nothing. The earth team is doing nothing. The captain's doing nothing. Except give it right by plus one attack. And the city guard city archers are gonna hit kinda hard. They're gonna do it all right now. Let's go ahead and do him this do him get him down no that's fine uh, let's go this way we want to get the strength and on anyways all right a little bit of ice too to go with it oh, I forgot we don't have my weakness up this makes this kind of hard <laughs> gonna have a huge shield but you know
Okay, let's, uh... Gonna go back into this back corner here where only one city guard can actually hit me. And we'll hit this guy. And get a shield. Alright, where are you at on cards? You have plenty of them now, right? Yeah, you were short rested. Okay. Oh shit, he hadn't gone yet. Oops. That was a problem. That's a mistake, but that's okay. Not a big one. Alright, uh, we're gonna go over to this guy. Actually, we can go this way, right? Yep, let's go this way. Yeah, okay. Should have pushed him into the stun trap. But I'm gonna stun him anyways right now! And that did not go as well as I wanted. But he's not doing anything next turn, so it's fine. Go ahead and pop that. What's the flame demon doing? I assume he's just gonna attack this guy, right? Did I break the game by, kill, by letting him kill the door and not die? What are you guys doing? Come on, make a choice. I mean, you really only have one choice, right? Yeah. Alright. Like, they're all gonna attack. That's why I wanted to kill this guy, so they would fly into the room and do things in the house. I, I know there's a lot of choices, but come on, dudes. Make your choices. Okay. Well, Frost Earth Demon's healing up. really fast now. Alright. Uh, attack 2, attack 2. Do I have a bottom attack of any kind? Not really. Maybe I do the attack 3 with an unstoppable? Or do I trample all these guys and 1, 2... I still have boots. 1, 2... But I want these guys to move, is the problem. They really can't get to me. So I guess that's what we do. Alright, and you need to get in here. I don't know how. Because they're in the way. And I don't have jump boots. You don't have to worry about that. Go ahead and short rest. That's not the greatest thing to get back, but... So I can go one, two... Three, four, five... How far can you get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven would be the max move with your thingamajigger. We have fire and... All right, here's the plan for you. Ready? You are going to... Strength and Agony into Break the Chains. That's a move seven. And it should be... Hopefully they'll be out of the way and you can get in with that. And then you... I do need to heal. I do need to do things. I don't super care about this guy. How far can I get with you? We need to get Mind's Weakness up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to here. So I might be... I think this is going to be a... Dark Frenzy, uh, Mind's Weakness turn. Alright. Alright, so, go ahead and Mind's Weakness this guy. Okay, very dead. And then, one, two to here. And... 
out here in the middle. That's a really bad, really, really bad card for us. Completely bad. Alright. Um, I don't think you can take hits here. So let's go ahead and put you invisible. That's going to be a burn, I think. Seven's a lot. All right. So we're going to attack five. Pierce, that's something that didn't really matter. And then attack three. You stunned him, which does nothing because he can't be stunned. Uh, let's go ahead and pop that. Pop that. And pop. Oh, I popped it. Okay. Uh, we want movable phalanx back. And pop that. All right. It's a lot of damage coming my way. Yeah. Really glad we got rid of his uh, thing, Majira, there. Yeah, this is, too, this is such a bad card for us. This right here is a bad, it's a really bad card. Such a bad card. The idea is that being in this corner here, we only one guy can get us, but that doesn't work. All right, so we can go one, two, three, four. We can't get past these guards. So I think you go for the chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to here. All right, okay. Uh, so you're gonna do this, and you're gonna go take the two damage because that'll put you below half, which will give you the extra movement. Okay, then you can do this and that. No need for the boots. Let's just go right to here. Alright, and we're going to pop that potion. Alright. Earth Demon is still fucking healing. You know, you target all adjacent enemies. You're so useless, you demons. When I play, when I fight you, you guys kick the crap out of me. Uh, it is definitely time to trample these guys so that I don't get completely pincushioned by them. Alright. Oh, crap. We are stunned. I mean, we are uh, immobilized. So, never mind. We're still going to do the trample, but we're not going to use it. Uh, over here, you are not immobilized. You can stun someone. You are not below half. You cannot Fatal Fury anybody. You could carterize a bunch of people and then move to the chest. So let's do that. And over here, one, two, three, four, five into that spot is perfect. And once you get there, let's go Corrupting Embrace. Alright, so the Flame Demon is once again doing nothing useful. City Archers are targeting two with their attacks this round. And big hits from the guards. And the captain is healing all. Alright. Uh, here we go. And let's make sure I get that on the right guy. Go ahead and create ice and create earth. I don't think anybody cares about either one of those things but me, but that's fine. And 
Attack four, shield one here. All right, um, I can do this. I think I should do this because these guys are gonna get lit up. So let's go major cure, get rid of the immobilize, pop this card and we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. We already used that. Oh, we already used our thing, but that's fine. It still happens. And you got a stun on a guy. That's good. All right. Could have been worse. I think I missed a guy, but that's okay. All right, we're down to 19. All right, let's uh, go ahead and stun this archer here. And let's go get that chest. I used the wrong card, but I have the boots, so it's okay. All right, chest is mine. Ha ha! Ooh, a versatile dagger. Ooh, the mind thief will love that. May turning his base attacks into attack threes will be really nice. All right, I guess we take damage here. Guess that one. This might be it for him. And we have to get rid of that one because we're going to do these two next round. All right. Well. Well, you're healing everybody, aren't you? Yeah. Alright, you're gonna long rest just to pull whatever. I don't know if it's gonna make any difference. Uh, you're gonna short rest to get your cards back. And, uh... Range 2, huh? Can I get to that spot there? One, two, three, four, five, six. I can. So if I run to that spot and from the brink, our mind thief, he might be able to kill this guy. And you're going to do those two, but you're going to short rest first to get cards back. And then, ooh, you could Dark Frenzy. That's probably better. Brain Leech, Dark Frenzy. And if I get another turn after this, then I'll be in good shape because then I have... Corrupted Embrace, and uh, one of those two back, so. All right. So attack one strengthen first. And then, yep, give me strengthen. It's down to 15. Now he's down to seven. I can get him next turn for sure. So we're going to move all the way. To here. And then we're going to heal you for 10. Flame Demon, once again, does almost nothing. He's going to move forward this time, though. And he is going to draw those two guards away. But they don't, they don't care about them too much. What are the uh, archers doing? All right. I think I got this. I think we're okay. The archers are going to pincushion this guy. And he's got plenty of cards to burn. Alright, 
before you just burn in the cards. Dun dun dun. Burn cards, burn cards, burn cards. And that's a four. That's fine. Uh, I could have used that miss. Another four. Took out my Earth Demon. Now dead. All right. So you have to go fast. Are we definitely corrupting embrace? What can I do on the bottom that matters? Nothing. So we go cranium corrupting, and hope it's enough. We got strengthen, and. So he's dead, but the problem is now I gotta survive. Everybody's gonna shoot me, right? Uh, I think we lose because nobody's alive. Oh wait, no, maybe I can move to here. All right, what does this guy do? Move two. So I'm gonna at least get to here. I think a lot of people can still shoot me, but I mean he's dead. Do I win? I think I have to survive the turn. I have some cards in the discard. <clears throat> I think I win. I think so. No, that guy's coming, though. I have no cards left, but... But... But, wait for it. <laughs> Traitor oh, God. The captain spits blood in your face. You've doomed everyone in this town. Why would you do this? A shadow is cast over his fallen body. You look to see the tall, bleeding figure of the Prime Demon standing over him. Wealth, power, <laughs> all the things you humans scrabble after every day of your miserable lives. These mercenaries, however, were fortunate enough to find someone who would actually give it to them instead of making empty promises. I will stay true to my word. Only those who opposed me will die. The rest are free to continue to live and toil in this place under my rule. I will return to my realm and plan my next move. All right. So nobody got any check marks, but 54 damage from the Mind Thief. Berserker had a rough, a rough game that one. He didn't have any jump. That made that one really hard for him. He kept getting blocked out of everywhere he wanted to go. Definitely need to get some jump on him. Over the next few weeks, the city settles back into its routine. Very little changes, except that demons <laughs> become an everyday sight in the city. And taxes are now given to these overlords, instead of the human overlords Gloomhaven had previously. One day, you wake to find a deformed demon standing over you, holding forth a parchment that looks like some sort of skin. I find myself desiring your help once again, mortals, it reads. It appears that many opposition forces in Gloomhaven escaped my grasp and are now camping out in the southern foothills, plotting to take back the city. Such machinations are surely fruitless, but still it's better to crush them now than to wait to see what they do. Yes! 30 gold minus 5 rep. Minus 2 prosperity is a kind of a dick move, by the way. And 12 XP. The Rebel Swamp. All right. Another monster kill for our Berserker and his trophy hunt acquisition here. 
another Gloomhaven scenario done for the Mine Thief. All right. Let's get our city event here. You decide to unwind to the sleeping lion, but just as you were starting to relax, a bear of a man crashes into your table, scattering your drinks everywhere. This is the Onox fight again, right? Let's go! Minus two rep plus five XP. We've seen that's a recycled event. We've seen that quite seen that quite a few times. All right. Well, we have lots of money to spend now. Leroy Jenkins has some money, and I think he's going to be buying him some jump boots. He also has a versatile dagger, which I guess you will keep using. Or we'll probably sell that, actually. All right, let's go to the merchant, because you're never going to want to use a versatile dagger. All right, let's uh, sell this dagger for 12. And then let's come over here and buy you... Uh, let's buy you some flying boots. Forget jump boots. I mean, it's almost all your gold, but it's flying. Hello? Way better. All right. Flying boots for you. We're going to sell your boots of striding back. And do we have a weapon that we want for you? Probably long spear is going to be what you want. Because you have a lot of single target attacks that do good damage, like five and six damage attacks. So this is probably what you want here. Plus you can do like a long spear stun and hit two people with a stun, which would be great. Um, and then... Uh, down here, you are now going to go buy the Versatile Dagger and get rid of the Wanda Tremors and dagger that guy up. And over here, still nothing you really want. So interesting. So I don't think we were very far off on the Gloomhaven Wealth. I don't think it takes you below your Prosperity level. So you're not going to lose a Prosperity level. Um, but we went down to 0 out of 6. I think we were like at 1 out of 6. So that's not bad uh, for the minus 2 prosperity that we did hit there. And for enchanting... So we got the plus 1 on that. What about our skewer? Where is our skewer? We use this card a lot. Another spot or... I think we put wound on that a lot. Oh, because it's got the two hexes. That's why. So if we added a he hex, it would be 300. If we do this, it's 150 for a wound, 300 for disarm. All right, so we save. That's fine. You can also sell back enchantments. So if I went here, I could sell this enchantment for exactly what I bought it for. So keep that in mind if you ever want to just buy an enchantment to be, you know, for now. You can sell it back later. Um... I guess I could put a plus one on this for now. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. It's just a temporary thing since we can sell them back for full price. Okay, so um, that's interesting now where we're at. We have... We can still, <laughs> we can still kill the Prime Demon. He's our, he's our friend now. We can still go kill him. I don't know why that's there. That should probably be crossed off. That's probably a mistake of some kind. I think it's actually a mistake in the board game, though, not in the translation. So we have Burning Mountain and Crystalline Cave and Harrow Hive and Sulphur Bind as side quests we could do to start working towards the Brute. Or we could go Echo... So... Next options are sewers, which is super hard, and I guess maybe I'm ready for it? I don't know. I think so. I think we could probably pull that off now. Uh, echo chamber, hair high, uh, so advantage sewers, which opens up a ton of quests if we do that one. Echo chamber, which uh, opens up the, the voice section of the quest, and rebel swamp. So we will decide. If you have any feedback, let me know. I think I'm kind of leaning towards opening up, going ahead and Rebel Swamp and continue down this demon uh, thing and see what happens down that road. But if you have any feedback or comments, let me know. And until next time, OBG out.